So it's time for the final installment of my How I Plan series, and today I'm going to talk about planning as you go. Sometimes you want to fill your whole week out ahead of time in your planner, just load the whole thing up. Shit changes, and you might have to go and like wipe stuff out or use a sticker or whatever, and shit's going to change regardless of what you do in your planner. However, the way that I generally tend to do it is my planners don't start out looking like this. They start out and they look kind of like this where there's stuff added in everywhere but it's not completely full so it's tuesday and monday i went through and did some stuff notice that monday's not completely full i didn't wind up using all of the space now when you have something like this sometimes i will go and add decorative stickers or maybe i'll write or maybe i'll just leave it depending on how lazy i am for this particular Monday. I want to kind of add something here. I mean, we just hung out after, after, you know, family time was over, but I'm going to add something down there to make it just look a little bit more full. I decided to layer two of the station stickers, round stickers from the kit, just to add something pretty there. I just felt like it. I don't always do that, but sometimes I do. Anyway, so since today is Tuesday, and I didn't have any appointments or anything scheduled for today. That gives me a big blank area. One thing I know I need to get down on Tuesday is grocery shop. So I'm going to slap this grocery bag sticker. It's one of my favorites from Lily Henry. And I love using it when I have to go grocery shopping to more than one place. And the other thing I want to do today, which I'm doing right now, so I might as well just add it in, is film this video. So I'm going to add some lettering in. Now, if you find yourself wanting to fill up some extra space to like make the planner look balanced when you're done with it, if that matters to you, then lettering does it really well going to add in a little color. This is kind of my process for planning as I go. I add the day of, I will fill in anything else that needs to be done that day that hasn't come up. As the week progresses, like I already made my blood work appointment. So today I added in this blood work sticker for my blood work appointment, you know, and as time progresses, I will add more and more stuff to the end of the week as it happens. But the whole concept of playing as you go is not setting your entire week in stone at the beginning of the week because you never know. Shit happens. Life happens. Whether you have kids or not, your life will go to hell the moment you think you have everything perfectly planned out. Um, the other thing I do, and it's on usually on Wednesdays or Thursdays, so I'm not going to do it today, is I will go and check the weather for the next the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I'll add that in. You, you stick to your scheme if you want to, but then as your week progresses, each day fills up more and more. And then you can go back and add something if you decide you want to fill in some empty space, or you can just leave the empty space. Nothing wrong with some white space if that's how you like to plan. Notice I haven't put my running to-do list in here yet. It's mostly because I didn't have time yesterday, so I will go ahead and do that today, but I'm not going to do that for you because there's going to be some stuff on there I'm going to want to blur out. <laughs> So this is a quick video, but I really just wanted to wrap up kind of the idea of how I plan during the week. It's been fun making this How I Plan series. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below if there's anything I didn't cover that you'd like me to touch on in a later video. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you next time.